your name? Big, big dope on flame. I just switched the lane. Then we did it again. I just flipped the pain. Stripping and dipping the bass. Slap on everything. Swimming, you sticking away. Cause I got big racks. Today, I'm out with the RF 50mm f1.8. A great little budget lens. But where am I? I'm in the UK. That's the only clue you're going to get. Let me know in the comments below if you can guess as you watch the video. So I'm using the R6 today with the 50mm f1.8. and I've noticed on the left hand side this gorgeous contrast between the highlights and the shadows on this building. Now I'm using this bike here to create a bit of depth in the photo. This is going to just take you through the image a bit more and look a little bit better. If you're ever out doing street photography, my advice, I highly recommend always looking for arches. They're a great way to shoot through things. And this is a good example. You've got this cafe with these nice glowing lights and I'm shooting through this arch here. If you like the look of this preset that I'm using today, then hit subscribe and then you can download it free. The link's in the description. It's all yours to use. So do that if you're interested. A lot of times I've been said that I notice uncommon things, which I think means that I notice things like these stairs, other people wouldn't notice. If they do, they would think I'm not gonna take a photo of that. But for me, I saw this railing, which is kind of like this steel kind of hand railing on the right hand side. And I thought if I can incorporate this and use it as a leading line, this would be a nice photo. See what you think. I love taking photos of buildings, especially old ones with character. And one perspective I go for a lot is shooting right up the building like this. Check it out. The great thing about using the 50 millimeter F 1.8, which is the RF version I'm using today, is you have a aperture which goes down to f1.8 this gives you a lot of background blur which you can work with so i noticed this wall on the right hand side here which i wanted to take a picture of and get the arch in the background with this beautiful light pouring through Today my dad's out with me, you may have already noticed, and he's looking at this wall like it's interesting. He hasn't got his camera with him today, but he is a photographer, so instead he's using his finger. When out taking street photos, I often look for reflections, especially when it's rainy, but I noticed this marble here has a nice reflection to it. I wanted to wait for someone to walk towards me and capture their reflection. Now, I didn't really get the photo I wanted, but it didn't work out too badly. So, have you guessed where I am yet, guys? I'm gonna circle round the area that I am in. So this is cut out a lot of England, and also I'm gonna cut out Wales. So, I'm in this circle, guys, and it's a town, not a city. Get guessing. I love graffiti. It's really striking and it makes for a great photo. And this is no different. Walking down this alleyway here, I noticed this sign on the right hand side and it had some really nice text and fonts which were used. So I just wanted to capture a photo of it. So I just quickly set my camera up and took a photo. I was thinking about having a slice of cake, but then I changed my mind because I saw this door on the left-hand side and it had this gorgeous light which was pouring through onto it and I could see this working really well. So I've been using the same preset for the whole of this video today. Remember you can download that free in the description, just hit subscribe and go ahead and download it. Now, I would have usually captured this in full color, but because I'm using this preset, 
it's not quite the photo that I wanted, but it's still quite nice. Now I realized at this point that I was just heading out of the town center. But on the right hand side, I'd also noticed this quite interesting gate. And through the gate, there was light which was coming down and I could see the contrast. And then I noticed that there was also a bench on top of this hill where the light was hitting. So I used the car as a foreground and then took a photo of the bench. I love contrast and color and vibrance, and you can see there's a lot of vibrance, this beautiful yellow brickwork here in front of me. Usually I would take a picture with all four of these windows, but using a 50 millimeter lens, I just don't have the right focal length. So I've decided to isolate this window here as it's different and use the light as the captivation. On the opposite side of the road, I noticed this place here, which I actually thought looked really nice. I could just see that really gentle glow from the traditional lights in the window. And I thought if I can just square this off, then this would actually look really quite nice. So I wait for people to walk past and then took the photo. I said always look for arches because they can provide a great way to shoot through things. Also, always look for alleys because these can be particularly good for drawing people's eye into your photo. It naturally offers great leading lines and really captivates the viewer. So I noticed this alley here, it's like a square door or archway. And I really liked the mood and feel of it because it was dark and you could see that light at the end of the tunnel. So I just got in the right position, set my focus point up on the door and then fight away. The place I'm at today has some gorgeous black and white traditional style buildings which just stand out beautifully. So I had to capture at least one of them in the video. Take a quick look at that bus now, quick. Can you see what's on it? That's the name of the place. If you missed it, rewind it, there's the answer. But for you guys which have guessed and you've got it right, well done. I really like using the 50 millimeter lens and if you haven't got the RF 50 millimeter F1.8 and you shoot Canon, you should definitely get it or the EF version. Anyway, guys, hit subscribe and whatever you do for the rest of the day, make sure it's a good one. I'll see you in the next video.